What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Live in Lauki. Life as we know it. I'm Jared. I'm Telsey. And today, we're going to cover a quick little topic about how to get your first adventure started. Yes. So if you've been wanting with your partner to go on some adventure, but there's brick walls that are happening. So we kind of came up with four steps that could simplify it that might be able to help you out. Now these steps might seem a little mundane and a lot of you guys might already know this, but this is for more so for the couples that really don't know how to get started or what to do. Yep. So one of the first things that helped us out quite a bit was packages. So for an example, before we went to Florida, mm -hmm. I was looking up different things and our total and all ended up being an amazing deal that we got. So I kind of researched it and it included the hotel, um, uh, travel, what is it? Traveling to and from our amusement, yep. the amusement park. Um, food was involved, wine and beer. Uh, the the swim literally everything that you saw in our last video and included everything except for the sushi Everything else was included in this So that's something that you kind of want to look for if you're going somewhere with your partner because it can make things so much easier That's right um, The second thing is you want to share the load so whether that's taking turns driving or Helping or going 50 50 with the payment for the actual package and the trip itself. Yep. Yeah. So like for an example for me and Jared when we were heading to Florida, um, I tend to be a stay awake as much as possible because I want to keep my partner awake. However, sometimes that doesn't work because when the partner is ready to switch off, then you yourself are tired because you've been awake with them. So kind of set up a game plan for like maybe he drives for two hours and then you drive for two hours. And that means that when they are driving, that means you are sleeping. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because I'm typically pretty good at driving, but once it starts getting dark, I start getting dozy real quick. <laughs> And I had to kind of force her to get in the back and take a nap. Yeah, and it worked out pretty well for us. That's um, right. So another one, our number three uh, kind of list to help out is he might want to do something and I might want to do something. But if you're on a budget and you're still trying to go out and have some fun, then what you need to do is talk with your partner. Talk with your partner about something that he likes and what you like and do some research on something that can kind of meet in the middle. So both of you know that you're still going out and having a fantastic adventure. It's just you won't have to spend all in bulk on what he wants or what you want. Now you're doing something still. What you wanted to go on a vacation for to begin with is for you two. And for instance, so she wanted to swim with the sharks. I wanted to swim with the dolphins. We came to a compromise and we did both. <laughs> <laughs> or sometimes it works like that. <laughs> That's right. Um, and also when we went to SeaWorld, I love roller coasters. She's more of a carny ride type chick. And uh, so we ended up riding on the roller coasters and still going and seeing the extra shows that she wanted to see. Yep, absolutely. So our last one, number four. Man, you just got to go with the flow. Mm -hmm. So don't don't worry about, am I going to be late for this? Or, oh my God, we got to go here or be there or whatever. Just, just go with the flow. So for an example for us is we had planned that we were going to do like an airboat ride. So in Florida, they're known for that and doing like the crocodile type stuff. Or the alligator, my bad. <laughs> um, we unfortunately, it was 45 minutes away from our hotel. We had just driven like 12 and a half hours. We weren't about to go drive some more. Nope. So just by craps and giggles, we came across this place called Gatorland. Pretty awesome. Yeah, and it ended up being really cool because we actually got a private tour with the manager there and got to meet the biggest alligator at the park and feed him without sure. paying for any of it. It was just we got really lucky with the whole feeding and the private tour um so so nick if you're watching this we really appreciate it um guys i'll post a link to his uh youtube down mm -hmm. below go check it out he's only got a couple of videos but he's just like us he's just now getting up and going with it yep and he was fantastic so if you ever go to orlando check gatorland out and ask for him because perfect that's right so i made a goof and this is actually a makeup video of the video that we already had shot and I made a goof and updated, two. Yep, updated the laptop and lost everything. So 
um, over the next course of the next couple of weeks and you guys are going to see quite a few more videos that we're going to try to catch up on. I'm going to do a sexual, or, um, well, I guess I can say it. Yeah. Uh, a sexual awareness video because that's what's, um, it's important to me. So catch a video on that. We're also going to be uh, interviewing a couple more entrepreneurs who started their own businesses. Yep. Um, also a couple more first responders and um, some military members that are going to help me spread the awareness with PTSD and mental health. Yep. Um, in the first responder and in the service industry. Yep. And then another um, addition that we are going to do is my fiance actually bought us a um, challenge book awesome. and to surprise us. So we're going to kind of show you like a page of what it consists of. So the front of it looks like this and the gist of it is trying to find different ways for you and your partner to come together and have a date mm -hmm. whether you have a lot of money or not. So in this it's really cool. So say if we flip and we want to start off here. It tells us the allotted time that we need to be able to do this activity. Roughly how much money it's going to cost. Mm -hmm. And you scrape it off and you can't skip it and you can't say no, you have to do it. Yep. So we can write down what happened, we can post us a picture right here, but we're just excited about it because we have no idea what's in it. So we just have to go with the flow. That's right. And um, I'm, a, I'm affiliated with a lot of different brands and companies. I am not affiliated with this group, but mm -hmm. I saw it and I watched some videos on it and I really believed in it. And I'm, you know, looking forward to taking this adventure with Telsey. Yep. And it's going to be awesome. And I'll post a link to their website down below. Yep. Um, so if you want to purchase it, like I said, he said that we're not affiliated with it, but if you want to purchase it and kind of go with it with us and let us know what you think about it, or maybe we can be like, this is what happened during, you know, this point for us. Um, it'll just be kind of fun to go back and forth. And um, also if, again, if there are, um, if there are different things that you are wanting us to add into our videos or if there's something you want to see or us to go somewhere, reach out to us and let us know. That's right. Also, if you're in the Jacksonville or Wilmington, North Carolina area and you have any interest in possibly sharing our YouTube videos with us, hit us down in the comments below and we'll see what we can do. Yep, absolutely. And as always, make sure to click that little subscribe button so it can pop up and let you know when we have uploaded a new video. Yep. There's also a couple of different links down below that you can help support our channel, um, whether it's the Amazon package deals with the equipment that we're using or the PayPal um, fundraiser link that's down below. Uh, any, anything helps guys and this is going to help us bring you more and better content. Yep. So stay tuned with our next couple of videos, guys. 